Pierre, I... I can't. I can't take this suit. You will need it too. I... I don't feel right. Stay with me. See it now. We were all so entertained. We didn't see what was getting ready in the shadow. Decipher what's written. This nightmare again. <clears throat> I miss listening to Pierre. He always used crazy effects on his guitar. You come with me, my friend. It would get lonely without you. Oh, forgot I found this old journal around town yesterday. Apparently they installed a secondary generator in the old lighthouse years ago. The extra current could help me out in my search for the other inhabitants. Let's check it out today. At least one place I know I can find things I leave in. new and a superb tool to stay busy another undeniable friend it would be easy to get lost without it a little perfection for the road
left my gun in the shanty yesterday. Time to get it back. Without you, I wouldn't stand a second out there. I love the atmosphere of the streets of the village with the staging. Too bad this is now linked to where my nightmare started. Better be home before the night. La Vieja Chaloup, restaurant and brewery. Fresh fish straight from the port. I sure hope the products are fresher than this poster. At the edge of this cliff stands the famous flower house of St. Exel. It was given by its owner to the village, which still contributes to maintaining the quality of its gardens. Still inhabited, the building is regularly open for heritage events. This door has no handle. Attention, following the latest storms, the coastal path is damaged. Certain trees marked with an orange cross present a risk of falling on hikers and must be felled. These can fall due to the slightest gust of wind. The village really isn't investing in its infrastructure and storms make it even more problematic. This tree was marked to be felled. It could make a nice bridge. It's hurt, but that won't be enough. A storm could help. It doesn't seem to have awakened them. Coelocybe phosphorus, recognizable by its phosphorescent dress. 
It made its appearance a short time ago in the region of St. Exel. With its lightning growth capacity, it is able to grow in a single day. Ripe, they can be enjoyed by some coastal birds. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I should gather some of these. Hmm, <laughs> hope the police will not catch me with these shrooms. This door can be unlocked from the other side. Ugh, too bad I don't have change for these tourist traps. was built in 1835, a veritable directional beacon for the sailors of the coast of St. Exel. It was nonetheless decommissioned in 1983. It is only in 1988 that Le Crenne was put in service again, welcoming a hydraulic generator that supplies the village. It's like someone just came for this incredible spectacle and got his bicycle. But these things were not here before the attack. Because of recent events, a lot of circuit breakers were stolen from the electrical gates. While we wait to receive more, we keep the last one inside the equipment locker. In the meantime, don't hesitate to use the same one on different gates. A bit unexpected for a lighthouse. These cables go all the way to the ceiling. behind me. his co-workers. 
Franck is so fed up that we keep forgetting his birthday, that he has set the day in the month as the padlock code. Can someone change that back to the inauguration date? So, what is your code, Frank? Watchtower schedule and system monitoring. The entire workforce is listed on the board. Something is written here, too. Could anyone pick up Frank's shifts for the upcoming weeks? Hmm. Looks a bit much for just a common lighthouse. I can probably restart the system from here. Once the pressure is fixed. It's completely dark in here. So, they had to make space for these machines? They do not seem to belong in a lighthouse. Good thing nobody can find them here. This panel seems to monitor the pressure within the turbines. Only the first one appears to be working correctly. The valve is missing here. Put on some music. Fourth day that I'm stuck. I'm not gonna make it here. They terrify me. I don't know what to do. They hunt me like an animal. They have taken on a human form, but there is nothing human about them. They come out of nowhere without you expecting it and materialize in a kind of elusive black vapor. I can't do anything against them. I don't know how to fight them. I found a weapon, but I'm struggling to use it, and I'm, I'm always out of bullets. There's even more of them at night. They swarm like cockroaches. I have to shut myself up at home as soon as night falls. And they prevent me from leaving this cursed village, Pierre. As soon as I try to leave St. Exel, they arrive by the thousands, and they, they get me. All right. So now, I need to fix these colored cables in the right order. If they catch me, I wake up in my bed and it's been hours, maybe even a whole day. I'm their prisoner.
that situation sits better with me. require a stronger force. depth of the sea, his anger spreads through our families. This sounds terrifying. Wondering what's that thing they mention all the time. Despite the mess the protesters left behind, you're still offering comfort, aren't you? They love leaving these tape boxes for their propaganda. Listen to us. Join the devoted. Maybe I should listen to it. of March, 1967. I know our local authorities have been breaking their backs, picturing us as fools. Do not listen to this nonsense. I this is one of the places of contemplation in St. Exel. It was vandalized just before everything went down. Our actions are dedicated to all of you. Once the day comes, those who denied will finally see the truth with their eyes. The distant shall all be remembered. You are all invited to our next ceremony. This Friday, join us in the writing of birthdays from the departed boat. Let's put the world to rights. It's the only way now. <laughs> I would like to tell you about the bracelet you gave me right after we arrived here. You found that gem on the beach and crafted it into this beautiful piece of jewelry. You told me that you felt that this pebble had something special, that it radiated. Well, you were right, you know. He protects me from the monsters I told you about. If I smack it against the ground, it produces a shock wave that violently repels ghosts. Sometimes, he can even dissolve them when they attack me. He is so strong that I decided to name him Rocky, since it's a rock. <clears throat> but Rocky is also a sensitive guy, you know? He doesn't like explosive noises. If I shoot a gun in his ear, he can even start a thunderstorm. At that moment, I, I feel transported to another reality, to another time. And once calm returns, I have the impression that it only lasted a few seconds, whereas about 15 minutes had actually passed. Better teased sparingly. Sometimes I feel like he's almost alive. He gets lazy at the end of the day, especially if I made him work a lot. 
But, hey, nothing a good night's sleep can't fix. Anyway, all that to say that he reminds me a bit of you. It's probably silly, but I... I feel like you're watching over me through him. And that helps me hold on. wake up in this dusty, tunnel-shaped cave. It is essentially made up of some kind of light-absorbing rocks, like the ones the insides of a planet would create. I go through this hallway and come across the ghosts that haunt me, but this time they don't try to catch me. There are also military and scientific equipment. I can't tell if they are studying or seeming to attack them. All right. A sheet of heavy smoke waits for me at the end, and it's too thick to see behind, and I'm attracted like a moth is to light. The closer I get to the exit, the more I hear ringing, until I realize it's my alarm, and I wake up like nothing happened, and at the same exact hour as usual, 8 a.m. If somebody finds this journal... <laughs> Should work better with that on. Oh, that's apparently... Do what you want with that information, or shove it somewhere warm. documents on this desk look much more confidential than the previous ones. This place appears to be a government cell dedicated to recording underwater sound activity off the village. And this has been going on for a while. But I don't see what they're trying to find. They appear to be studying something at the bottom of the sea that is moving at precise coordinates. On April 17th, 1991, they recorded a signal which they define as organic. The signal was recorded on a cassette to be sent urgently to the DGSE because this would jeopardize the military security of the country. But one of the lighthouse maintenance staff apparently stole the tape? They quickly managed to identify him and where he lives. This is my house. 